When God created everything, God said, it is very good. But people began to do bad things, and God decided to send a great flood of water to wash everything clean and make it new again. Then God saw a good family. The father was Noah. And the wife was Nama. And they had three sons. And they had wives. Noah walked with God. Noah came so close to God, and God came so close to Noah that Noah knew what God wanted him to do. God wanted Noah to build a great big boat called an ark. Noah and all of his family began to build the ark. As they were building the ark, animals began to come from all four directions of the earth. They came two by two. And they filled the ark. When the ark was finished and all of the animals and all of Noah's family were inside, It began to rain. Water came down from the heavens and up from the earth. It rained and it rained. At first it was like any rain, but this rain just kept coming. The puddles ran together and soon water covered everything. When the creatures on the ark looked out into the rain, all they could see was water. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights. But God did not forget the creatures on the ark. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. Then God sent a great wind to dry up the water, and the water began to go down. Noah took a dove. He held it carefully in his hand and then sent it forth. It flew and it flew. Noah held out his hand 
and receive the dove. There was still nothing anywhere but water. No waited for seven days and sent the dove forth again and it flew and it flew. This time when it came back, it held a fresh olive leaf in its mouth. Now there was something green and growing on the earth again. No waited for seven more days and he sent the dove forth again and it flew and it flew but this time it did not come back. It found a home and it made a nest and it stayed there. The water kept going down and down and finally the ark came to rest upon the earth. All the creatures began to come out. so did Noah and his family. They were so happy to be home again that they could not help it. They had to say their prayers to try to say how happy they were. And they made an altar and gave thanks to God. Suddenly, a great big bow appeared in the sky. It was a bow of many colors and it can still be seen today when there is rain and the sun is shining. Today we call it a rainbow. We can't get a whole rainbow in our room, but if you hold this prism up to the light and look carefully, you can see a piece of the rainbow in it. This rainbow is a sign of God's promise that God would never send such a flood again. All the creatures went out into the four corners of the earth and they began to fill the earth with life again. Now I wonder what part of this story you liked best. I wonder what part is the most important. I wonder where you are in this story or what part of this story is about you. I wonder if there is any part of the story we can leave out and still have all of the story that we need.